I'm just going to the basics of bottles. Without knowing bottles, how to put it in, you will not be able to do further. So, this is what you see in the book. Everybody is confused. What is this? It's marked and there, A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, as a learner, it's totally confused. Where to put, when to put, which portal to be used. So, we'll go through a few basic portals and when we should use it. One is the posterior portal. That's the most important portal. That's a primary viewing portal for any uh, diagnostic scopy. It's usually two centimeter inferior and one centimeter medial to the postlateral corner of the acromion. And uh, it's usually the first portal to be placed. And when you are putting the scope, you try to direct it towards the coracoid. So you have to feel your humeral head, feel it, you have to move it. Then you feel the, you know, the, the soft spot out there. Then you introduce it. So we'll go through the video later on. Then the next portal which comes is the anterior portal. Anterior portal can be used uh, basically for uh, your basic work start with the glenohumeral joint first. That's all the Bungard's repairs, the slabs. Then you come to the acromial one of subacromial decompression and cuff. So anterior portal is the one which comes in the anteriorly. It's lateral to the coracoid and anterior to the AC joint. And the portal is usually placed under direct visions from the posterior portal with a spinal needle or a gray IV cannula. That's a 16 gauge IV cannula. Then the lateral portal, which is commonly used for subacromial decompression and also for a cuff repair. It's located one to two centimeter distal to the lateral edge of the acromion. Then the secondary portals are the anterior inferior portal. That's a five o'clock portal. Uh, that's used for the placement of labors for the lab uh, anterior labor repair. That is uh, Bangat repair. And it's that's slightly located inferior to the coracoid. Earlier it was, we were all scared of going anything medial to the coracoid. Once you know, like uh, we have started doing all, you know, acromioclavicular joints and arthrolethargy. Now that scared, uh, scary thing has gone from the mind. So people are now going behind. So always this is just lateral to the uh, coracoid. And it is again placed under the direct vision. Then the posterior inferior portal, that's a seven o'clock portal. That's for the posterior labral repair. That's also placed under the uh, direct vision. Then, then all the name portals, the nevasier portal or the supraspinatus portal that is just posterior to the uh, acromion and uh, it's, that's used for slap repair so that you will get a direct, uh, you know, placement for your anger and it's just medial to the lateral acromion. Then the port of Willington, it's used to evaluate or repair posterior label tear that is goes just again medial to the uh, posterior acromion. So we'll just uh, show this is uh, how we should start. Whenever we start um, a arthroscopy, you should mark. First, you have to mark the acromion, then the humeral head, then you feel the coracoid, then you feel the scapula, then you feel the head. That is your own former friend. My fellow now, Kuryaku is doing, he was here last year. So he's doing the marking now. So, and uh, uh, then we will introduce a gray candle, that's Kuriakos again doing that. So you have to get the direction of uh, the coracoid. So uh, then I am taking over that. So we, then we used a stab knife. You don't go and pierce the capsule like you are doing a knee. You are just making a skin incision. You are, so again, the direction of, you should use your gray cannula to have the direction where is it going. So you have to feel the humeral head, you have to feel the acromion and in between you, the needle will pass like this. So that direction should be there. Like you are putting a screw for your, you know, uh, for your both bones or something, you should know the direction where it has gone. After that you have to put your arthroscope and uh, you can sue, you can start with your diagnostic arthroscopy. Um, so establishment of other portals, um, I have told already, so we will see how we establish. Almost all the portals now we do under direct vision by passing the needle. It's a very short talk. 
So uh, again, the, the video is continuing. That's, uh, uh, you can see the, uh, that's, uh, if you look here, this is the subscapularis and this is the uh, short head of biceps. So here is the uh, first portal, which we usually use for a banga trip. Eh? That's where you use a 8 mm cannula. That is at the rotator interval towards the, just above the subscap near the biceps exit. So this is how. The second needle, we have to put a smaller, the 5 mm cannula. That is usually put just below. That is towards the superior part of the uh, biceps interval. So that's how you put the second needle. Now comes the, the direct uh, for, uh, portal for your slap repair. So that's a portal. You can see the needle is directly, you can feel from the outside where I'm going. So that goes in directly. You should have a access direct from the uh, top. Now we are going to the posterior part for the posterior labor repair. So uh, you have to go posteriorly and little medially and then go down. Again, if there is a tear, you can go, go and do that. Then uh, we have uh, got two needles. This is for your remblissage. You can see the position of the arm. It is abducted. That is the uh, in, uh, infraspinatus there. And uh, um, if there was a hill sack, it would have been there. So you put that uh, to uh, portals. So, and the lateral portal also comes somewhere anterior to that. So complications, you should always know the anatomy where to put. Generally, when you are using a needle and going in, if you are in the safe zone, uh, you generally don't cause any problem. And uh, you should pass your needle to reach the, uh, the place where you want to reach before you put your knife. So needle, you put it, see that it is reaching your need where you have to reach. So injury to the nerve, posterior portal, the axillary nerve, at risk if the posterior portal is made too inferior, and suprascapular nerve, at risk if the posterior portal is made too medial. The anterior portal, again, musculocutaneous nerve, if the portal is made too inferior, and injury to cephalic vein, anterior portal, at the risk if the anterior portal is made too inferior. But hardly we have ever heard about all those things in, um, so just not to scare, I think these kind of uh, things will make everybody scared of starting, because the basic CME, I have never heard about anybody doing all those things. So um, putting the, the in-shoulder arthroscopy, putting the scope is the most important thing. Uh, you should know how it's not like uh, the knee where you are directly entering. You should know how to put it, put the scope inside the shoulder. Then everything using the needle you can identify and mark and do your rest of your portals. Thank you.